Hey everybody and welcome to Scarborough Fair. Um, we say that to everyone when they walk in the store and since we're not doing a lot of that lately we just wanted to welcome you here today. Um, so this little episode is about attic journals and um, let me give you a little history. So about 11 years ago my life changed profoundly and part of that change is that I started journaling. Something that I had tried to pick up other times in my life and it just never really stuck but this time it did and and I'm sorry I didn't bring them with me tonight but I have some of the most beautiful journals some of them handmade all of them meaningful to me in their appearance um, besides what's written inside and anyways a few months ago I was traveling and I met this woman who started this business called Attic Journals and what she does is she takes vintage books or old books and she turns them into journals and they just really touched me and I picked out each one that we have in the store today so I'm going to show those to you and share them with you and if you would like any further information about them after this little event please feel free to reach out to me or to Kelsey. Kelsey's here live. Say hey Kelsey. Hi how are you? <laughs> and uh, so shoot us some questions or whatever and we'd like to answer your questions and uh, I hope you like these as much as I do. So the first couple of pieces I chose, I chose not because I know the books but because the cover art just really spoke to me. Um, and please, I don't speak French. Uh, this is Lectures Chorsies. Uh, so obviously this is a book in French. It has a fleur-de-lis, which I love. Love the whole meaning behind the fleur-de-lis. I love the look. So inside you can see that it's a real book. Um, it's gotten somebody's name in there, examination copy. So this was a, for an examination. This is the inside, this is the first page. And then there are just various, like it's a real textbook. But then as you go past that, this is where you write and you make this your your book and then this is the back so this artist finds these books carves them out puts in new paper and binds them all of these journals are twenty four dollars which i think is a very reasonable price um, and just really special so some of these will speak to you some of them may not i love this because of the floor de lis um, I also loved this. This is another French version because they're talking about fashion. So I know enough about French to know that mode means fashion. Uh, so this is an illustrated encyclopedia of fashion. Um, inside there's words I don't understand and uh, more words I don't understand. Look at this pretty picture. And then you start being able to write over here. And there's lots and lots of pages for you to use this for, for several months, if not a year, depending on how often you journal. I try to do it every day. That doesn't always work. But um, love that. Then I love this one. I had no idea until a moment ago what it was about. This is about remembrances of World War II. This was somebody's book. You can see that there's an, in, an inscription in here with his name of Fred somebody, uh, May 15th, 1964. I love that about old books too. I love seeing who enjoyed them in the past. And then you start having your own journal entries. Loved the cover, loved the artwork. That's the back. And then I chose this one because I loved this story. I love this story and I love this movie, Thomas Hardy, Far From the Matting Crowd. Um, so beautiful. I mean, we don't really see a lot of hardback books anymore. I mean, often I'm, I'm buying paperback or softback books, which I don't particularly care for. So I'm a real book lover. This is the uh, Far From a Matting Crowd, the Matting Crowd. And then back in here, the journal starts. So those are the first few that I loved. Um, 
One of the genres that really spoke to me is Nancy Drew. So when I was 10, 11, maybe nine, I was a huge reader and I would get a pile of books for Christmas. And by the time Christmas holiday was over, I had read them all. So when I saw these Nancy Drew mysteries, I thought, oh my God, I have to have this. So the Scarlet Slipper and um, the mystery of the 99 steps I mean, I read all of these. I, I'm sure many of you did also. The Clue in the Diary. The Mystery of the Tolling Bell. Do you remember that, ladies? Oh, my God. Like, I lived for these books. Um, and that's, we've sold a lot of the Nancy Drews already, so that's what I've got left there. And then I had to buy this one just because, well, what did Caddy do next? What Caddy did next. I just loved that. I mean, I have no idea what this book is about, but loved it. Loved the cover. Loved the fact that it was about Caddy. Um, oh, and then I got a, 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 a Dr. Seuss. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. So this is a fun one to either have on your nightstand or give to one of your grandchildren. I'm just trying to see how to make sure that you can see these pages. I'm going the wrong way. Isn't this amazing? And again, all of these are $24. She is from the Pacific Northwest, I believe. Um, these are all made in the United States. Um, Mastering the Art of French Cooking by Julia Child and Louisette well, I don't know her name. I mean, who doesn't know that this is a classic? The equipment. Actually, I have a friend that would probably love this. <laughs> and then the journals in the back here. I think my mother had this book, Better Homes and Gardens, the casserole book. And it's a journal. The Family Circle Cooking Book. Isn't that amazing? Doesn't this bring back memories? Love this. I have no idea what book this is, but I love this dog. So this reminds me of a book I probably would have had when I was in school. And this is lots and lots of nice big paper in this journal. And again, all of these are $24. I have a few more to show you. This is the Good Housekeeping Needlecraft Encyclopedia. This one I remember from my childhood. <laughs> Landscape for Living. I don't remember what it was about. I just remember this artwork. Um, and so that touched me. I don't know why I'm, I'm going back in time in my mind, but I just loved this. And lastly, the, the New Book of Knowledge. I know we had this when I was a kid. Let me see if I can do this gracefully. There you go. <laughs> All right, well, anyways, I hope that you thought this was as fun and uh, special as I did. Please reach out to us and let us know if there is any questions that you have or if there is um, a book that you'd like to own. Um, or if you want to send it to a friend, we can take care of that for you also. So, um, yes, my email is kat, K-A-T, at scarboroughfairshop.com, and Kelsey's going to post that on our page when we make this video live. So thank you so much. Have a great evening, and it was a pleasure being with you. Bye now.